What would you say if I told you that there is one particular trumpet exercise that can, if implemented correctly, improve your quality of sound, your embouchure control, your breath control, your control of dynamics, your flexibility, your finger dexterity, your accuracy of pitching, your endurance, your range, and consistency across all registers? Well, you probably say something along the lines of, Simon, you are talking out of your... Well, let me tell you that there is. Welcome to Trumpet TNT. Hello there. London-based pro trumpeter Simon Finch here again with another Trumpet TNT tips from the road. Um, I'm in my hotel room here in Budapest, Hungary. I'm on the road with Mulatu Astutke, Ethiopian jazz legend. And I am going through my daily routine and I thought I'd share one aspect of this with you today. If you wish to work on this routine yourself at home in your own free time, then just click on the link in the description for a free PDF download of the exercise which I'm about to demonstrate to you now. Oh, and of course, I'm in a hotel room, so I'm using the old practice mute. And in this case, I'm using a For any of you that have seen my previous video about practice mutes, unfortunately, I left my earbuds at home, so I'm having to do it. Uh, in the old fashioned way. Not quite as gratifying, but it gets the job done. So this exercise is essentially an extension of the famous Herbert L. Clark exercise number one, but with a couple of twists. The first twist is that I will be utilizing an expanding method. And the second twist is that once I get to A, then I utilize a slightly different pattern, essentially a two octave chromatic pattern. Um, it will all become clear upon my demonstration. And once again, of course, it's in the PDF, which you can click down below. Okay, without further ado, let's get amongst it. So first of all, I start on F sharp, then I move down to F and then I move up to G and then down to E, then up to G sharp, down to E flat, up to A, which then at that point I utilize the new pattern, down to D, up to A sharp or B flat, down to D flat or C sharp, etc., 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 expanding as we go like this. Okay. and then so on and so on until you reach the extremities of the horn. Now, a few things to bear in mind when doing this exercise. 
Firstly, I would tend to play this routine at about MF, certainly no louder than F. The idea is to remain as comfortable and as relaxed as possible. Secondly, rest after each segment. Ideally rest for the same amount of time as you played it. And don't extend these exercises any further than you're actually comfortable. We don't want any tension because then that way bad habits are formed. You end up with too much pressure, your breathing will become more shallow and it'll become more forced. And this applies to everything you do on the trumpet. Play with the most beautiful full sound as you can possibly imagine. Visualize orally how you want to sound. You'll find that your embouchure falls into place naturally and your tone, of course, will be the best that it can be. And with that, I bid you a fond farewell. See you next time for more Trumpet TNT tips. Bye.